everyone good morning to you this fine friday morning it's louise here from crazy borgies just a quick video um, of one of my completions this is the one that rio stole the rhinestones off yesterday well i finally finished it last night so i just wanted you to well see the finished completion um he didn't swallow the rhinestones by the way i found them on the floor several hours later it's a little oh <laughs> anyway right okay so this i think this one was in one of my unboxing hauls from fan sales i could be wrong um but yeah i just wanted to show you what i've done um rather than keep buying all these expensive frames um i just had enough of it one day and i thought you know what i'm just gonna go on amazon see if i can find a box of cheap um canvases or any sort of cheap backing cardboard paper like really hard cardboard and just mount it on it basically just like um you know stick it onto it so that's what i've done um i went and i bought a bulk load of uh 10 30 by 30 by 40s and then 10 I think I bought 25 by 25 for the smaller canvases because I'm aware that, you know, they always come up shorter. But I just wanted to use this technique in order to see what I like, you know, if I like how it looks, the end result on, in not a frame, but on a backing uh, canvas. So, yes, that's what I've done. And I've used a bit of washi tape just to kind of like, this is the 30 by 40 uh, canvas that I bought. So I've just used a bit of washi tape just to make the white bits around it look a bit prettier. Obviously, you don't have to do that, but washi tape is, is cheap enough and you can get it in all sorts of patterns, glitters, all sorts of designs. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you this beautiful moon under the stars and the mountains and then... This is a bit of the reflection of the sea there. So I'll just take you up close. I have sealed this with uh, Mod Podge spray. So I'm just going to take you close. This one I really enjoyed doing. I, I love the bubble ones. You know, I'm going to, well, the video name says it in itself. I'm seeing bubbles for days. <laughs> I'm so cheesy, guys. Very cheesy. So, yeah, you can see we've got the pink rhinestones here. We have the larger ones and then we've got the red ones. And I've got loads, loads and loads and loads left over. The only thing I felt a bit funny about was this bit in the middle. It was sticky. And I was thinking, well, it's not, nothing's going there. But then when I sprayed it last night, I mean, it's still a bit sticky now because I only sprayed this last night. And I think you're supposed to leave it 24 hours to dry completely. And then it does say that you can put on another coat after it's dried, but I probably won't, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was a, a really pretty. It actually turned out better than what I was expecting because like... Uh, one of my children said, yeah, but mum, there's nothing to it. It's just like the moon and stars and mountains. That's it. And I was like, yeah, I, I kind of know that. But then when it all comes together at the end and you've got all these lovely rhinestone crystals, I mean, I'm just trying to see if I can get the sun to shine on it so you can see the sparkles. I mean, you know, let's see if I put my light on and then you can see it's just sparkling so much and i always always give it a wipe down with um with a bit of window cleaner after i finish before i seal them because i just think that just sets off the sparkles it really does as you can hear rio is on top form he's not off, he's not out of the cage today so you won't get a a debut of performance from him <laughs> as you always do but yeah i just thought this was a really really yeah just it really came out well and i'm really pleased with it so i think i probably will do this with my other canvases instead of framing them apart from my last supper i will frame that because that's a special one but um yeah so 
as I said, these, let me leave that one up there and I'll show you the pack that I got from Amazon. So it was a pack of uh, 20, I think, is it? Yeah, these are the 30 by 40s, guys. Let me just move this to one side. So these are the 30 by 40 packs that I got from Amazon. I don't know, I think it was £10, something like that, for a pack of like seven, something cheap anyway, in comparison to the frames. And they literally are like this. They're just like a white, oh no, it's flat and break you up. So it's just like a white canvas. They're not very thick. They don't have the wooden backing on the background, but this is the canvas material stretched over just a bit of hard cardboard i mean you could make it yourself but if you want to protect your canvas a bit if you're a bit overprotective of your canvases like i am i don't know why i'm just a bit ocdc when it comes to them then it's a good hard solid solution to framing you know because these frames when you start doing the amounts of diamond paintings that i do and probably you do as well you know it all mounts up, doesn't it, when you buy these frames? So I thought if you can get a cheaper solution, why not? Why not give it a try? So I did. So I got the 30 by 40. And it does say on it, I think that's a good logo, Artigo. Art that doesn't cost the earth, which is good. That's what we like, isn't it? We don't want to spend silly mount amounts of money on our hobby. Um you just want to do you want but you want it to be nice and it's an enjoyable art isn't it diamond painting so you know you want to make it look as best presentable as possible which is and that's my end result there so i have done a few like this this is my first 30 by 40 that i've put on a on a backing canvas i must admit i'm just going to try and get the um the 30 by 40 i actually put one of my little chickens on the 30 by 40 you'll have to excuse me i'm still really ill thank you for your messages guys of um love and support it really does mean a lot especially when you have a few days like well <laughs> i've had i'm not sure now if it's glandular fever or tonsillitis to be honest with you my dad's convinced i need my tonsils out it could be right but then it could be just a cold as a side on addition to whatever is going on with my glands and at the moment so this is the 25 by 25s that i got and again i got a pack of i think it was two four five six and then there's one on the wall so a pack of seven it was probably a bit cheaper than the 30 by 40 it was probably like a pound per canvas something like that or maybe cheaper i don't know i'll have i'll look up the prices for you if anyone wants to know but it wasn't that much and it is stretch canvas again and just on a solid hard bit of plastic uh plastic hard bit of um cardboard so you know i thought that's a good solution and then obviously, you know, if you can't get the canvas to stretch completely over the back of it, like I couldn't with the 30 by 40, you can just make a little pattern. You can draw a little pattern on the side. You can put washi, paint, washi tape patterns as I did on this one. And yeah. Sorry, guys. Keep putting you down a bit, a bit wonky. But I'm really happy with how how this canvas turned out and i'd like to know your opinions on it what do you think guys obviously i've got so many of these bubbles as you know and i'm slowly but steadily making my way through them and yeah i, just, I think it's really pretty so that's all i've got today for you guys as i'm really really ill I need to rest it's half term here in the uk so yes i probably won't be able to upload as much as i'd like because the kids will be at home driving me crazy 
<laughs> I love them dearly though, don't get me wrong. It's just hard, especially in the next coming months, to think of things to do that are cost effective and you know, because they're all such different ages. So I have a 12 year old, I have a five year old, I have a six year old. And then my eldest is 20 now, so she's pretty much, you know, she doesn't want to do anything <laughs> with mum anymore, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's difficult. And then you throw it autism into the mix as well. Finding things that keeps them all happy is a challenge, to say the least. But we will get there, God willing. God willing, we will get there. So please say a prayer for me, because I will definitely need prayers this week. <laughs> <laughs> or else I might stick my head in the oven and it's either that or I will sit in the bathroom doing loads of diamond paintings <laughs> while they all just like keep banging on the door who knows who knows guys but um I hope you all have enjoyed this video and um yeah basically that's it I if I do have any more unboxings I will upload possibly not straight away as I said but I will get them in the end it is always a challenge to film when the kiddies are at home. But if you're on half term this week in the UK, I hope you have a blessed one, a safe one. And an enjoyable, relaxing one is the main thing. Because us mums, we need a bit of self-care. This is my self-care, the diamond painting and the YouTube. This is what keeps me sane, guys. I don't know about you. Um, it's a bit been a bit of a crazy world hasn't it last couple of years it's been very crazy sort of has opened your eyes to a few few things going on but anyway hope you all have enjoyed this video if you like what i'm doing please give me a thumbs up subscribe share and all the rest of it okay so take care and i hope you all have a lovely half term break and if you celebrate halloween then happy halloween to yourselves and be safe and enjoy it. Okay, take care. God bless. Bye.